And so that's why we have to be careful what we let into our house. Because if we let bad things into our house, it can ultimately end up causing us to do bad things. Dad, can I go out and play? Well, I'm afraid there's just a bad storm outside, so you can't go play, but why don't you go eat an apple? But I don't have an appetite for an apple. You need to eat an apple. Gross. Hey, who you calling gross? Oh no, more talking from the house. They call me Macintosh, and these are my boys. We're from the east side, and we're moving in. Hey, you can't do that. It's too late. Remember what your dad said. You better be careful what you let in your house, because it might end up taking over. Get him, boys! Talking fruit. Let's go check this out. Mm. Okay, where's the fruit at? Disappeared. It disappeared? Sam, I think maybe you've been uh, reading too many silly stories. You're imagining things. But I did buy a whole bag of apples. And they are gone. Thanks for inviting us into your pad. We like this place and we think we're gonna stay. You can't stay in our house. That's what you think. Get him, Rico! Uh, 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 what, what in the world? We got you and your boy. We're taking over the house, man. Me and my boys rule this house from now on. You work for us. <laughs> would you like some water, Mr. McIntosh? Yeah, but I take it with no ice. Don't forget that. Okay. Hey, Dan, where's my sandwich? Coming right up, Mr. McIntosh. Well, you better hurry it up. Hey, tonight you guys are going to sleep in the floor while I sleep on the nice, comfortable couch. You got that? Dad, how long are we going to have to do this? Just wait till tomorrow. I've got some special visitors coming. Okay. Okay, Sam, I'm ready for my foot massage. There's somebody at the door. Dan, get the door. <gasps> it's the West Side Bananas. Get them, boys! Hey, come on boys, let's get out of here. These guys are too much for us. We hope you liked our video. And the lesson from today's video was that you need to be careful what you allow into your life because if you allow bad things to come into your life, sometimes they'll end up taking over. And you don't want that. So. When you make decisions in life, whether it's to read certain books or watch certain movies or whatever decision it is in your life, when you do something, that's bringing it into your house. It's bringing it into your life. So make sure to watch good movies, read good books, 
And, and shirts that don't say any bad words on it. And wear good, good clothes. And if you do that, you'll end up better off in life. And you'll, and you'll, and you'll have a, and you'll be the nicest person in the world. It will help you be a nicer, better person if you if you let good things come into your life, if you think on good things in your mind, but if you let bad things come into your life, if you bring bad stuff into your house, if you let bad things enter into it your mind... It can take your heart away from God. That's right. It can take your heart away from where it needs to be, focusing on God, and you'll end up focusing on the bad things, and the bad things can end up controlling you. So be careful what you let come into your life, because what you bring into your house and into your life it can ultimately end up controlling you. If you find that you've brought bad stuff into your house, well, the easiest way to get rid of it is just to get, get rid Throw of it. Throw it out. Throw it out. That's right. We need to get the bad stuff out of our life. And put and, the good stuff back into us. Exactly. Put the good stuff back into us. I'm Dan. And I'm Sam. And this is what we use for the video. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button.